One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up guys, it's Harry Haas here. And today I'm just gonna be going over uh, a weekly recap. Um, you know, again, some more lessons from this week. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Some trades as well. So let's get right into it. Um, so um, this is something that I made that can be super, super simple and applied. There's also a longing one as well. I'll start with the shorting one. Um, and that is that, okay, it just kind of applies the MIC process in a way that is just super, super simple. And I think first and foremost, it's really the simplicity that that's really key, right? Um, so again, you know, we start off, obviously we have a ticker, you know, is it the hot check? Is it the non hot check? If it's a non hot check, then, you know, automatically you want to be looking at that for a potential trade if it, if it's popping and we can apply that to the process, right? And again, if it's hot check and it's front side, you know, again, that's going to be no trade. And if it's backside, then it will be a trade, but 30% size over VWAP again, there are different pre-market rules that, that Alex uses and a lot of other people use as well. But again, um, it's just something that you can kind of learn to implement or maybe learn to use if you're having trouble with this kind of decision making or stock selection. Just another kind of like helpful thing that, that can help, right? And so again, we also have the longing one as well. Where And, and this is a big one because in longing, I find um, it's a little bit... Uh, how can I say this? Longing is is very hard because um, there there is a lot of times where a stock will pop and then you're thinking in your head, is this a long? Is this not a long? Um, whereas like almost 90% of the time, if a stock is popping, it's probably going to be a short, right? If, if there's a stock popping, maybe after 930 and we're on the backside, that's almost always going to be a short. And I know almost always Bao is going to have his orders out and they're just going to be filling into Bao's orders, right? And so something that can help you for longing is again, okay, are we the hot chick or not? Well, if we're the hot chick in front side, that's a trade. If we're the hot chick in back side, then that's not a trade. And if the ticker is not a hot chick and, and you see it, it, it maybe pop a little bit, 10, 20, 30 cents. And you're like, and, and you're, if you have to question whether it's the hot chick, it's not the hot chick. And if you, there's, there's a lot of things I talk about in some of my other videos where I've seen a lot of guys, like, especially the past week and the week before, um, you know, unfortunately, I haven't gotten any girl DMs about this issue. So, um, but, um, you know, I see a lot of guys, they message me and they say, uh, oh, I missed, I missed this trade. So, so I was feeling some FOMO. So I thought that I could get a quick sell on this one, even though it wasn't the hot check. And those are just really, really bad habits. And so I, pr I primarily kind of made it not really for the shorting cheat cheat, even though I added one just in case someone would kind of like to use this. But I really made it for the long cheat sheet because, you know, it's really keeping it very, very, very simple. If it's the hot chick and it's front side, then that's a trade. If it's the hot chick and it's back side, it's not a trade. And if it's, a, you know, if, if it's, again, a non-hot chick stock, if we have uh, ABC moving and that is the hot chick and you see EFG pop 10, 20 cents, that doesn't mean you can just long EFG. That's not the hot chick. Chances are the top is already set on that one. Chances are when that pops 30 cents, the bag holders who bought it in pre-market who are stuck are, are, are then going to sell, causing the stock to go down, you know, and, and, and it's just stuff like that. It's going to be way heavier. It's going to be way harder to move. We have all this kind of excess supply already created from the pre-market. So again, it's just stuff like that, right? Where, but it is as a long trader, so easy. It, and it, I, I've, I've been guilty of it too, myself, where in the past two weeks, three weeks ago, you could get away with a little non hot chick scalp, right? You know, but, but now that's just not really working. Um, now, um, the market is starting to kind of favor the shorts. So you can't really get away with that non hot chick scalp. It just doesn't work. Um, not that it's a good habit anyway, because it's really, really not. But when, when we have a market where, um, 
everything that pops starts to move, then you can get away with that a little bit. Hey guys, my name is Toss Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. But once you see the, the seller's market and stuff not really moving and we start to get slower, then you can't do that at all. That's just impossible. Um, for longs, there's really one stock that you should be longing, and that's usually the hot chick, and it usually stems from pre-market. Um, and, and everyone's aware of that stock, and, and maybe it hasn't broken down, and maybe it is still grinding, maybe it is still going up higher. But if that's a non-hot chick and the top is set, you cannot long it. You cannot go long on that ticker. You cannot press the buy button on that ticker and you must restrict yourself. And as a long trader, if you can't do that, if you're having a problem doing that, only have the hot chick up on your screen. And if the hot chick tanks and that's done and and everyone in chat is, is not saying, oh, the money's flowing here or the money's flowing there, then you're done for the day and your process is cut off for the day. Because in this game, you know, especially, and, and this is vice versa. Like, you don't see Alex saying, oh, I'm going to start shorting um, a, a front side hot chick without any confirmation, um, without any tank handle. You know, you're never going to ever hear him say that. You're going you're gonna to hear Alex say, okay, I'm going to short a pop after a tank, or I'm going, going to short into this resistance, risking this, expecting a fail because the top is already set. Um, and so, again, that is, is really, really no different um, you know, again, like Alex is, isn't going to say I'm going to short the front side. So I'm not going to say I'm going to go long the, the back side, right? Or I'm going to go long a non hot chick stock. It just, it just doesn't work like that. That's just not the process. So again, I'm seeing a lot of people who will miss the hot chick or they're too afraid of it. That's another problem. People are too afraid. They're like, oh man, it, what if it dumps? What if it dumps? Well, you're better off longing that hot chick stock than this non-hot chick one. You have better odds with that one, you know? And so, again, don't let the FOMO get the best of you. Don't let any of the other emotions get the best of you. If you miss something, you miss it. Call it a day. Walk away. Do yourself a favor. And, I mean, that's just that. Um, again, um, this is kind of like the deviation from VWAP. Um, this is another one of the diagrams that I've, I've kind of just been... I've just been kind of making them because in university, um, when you're like in econ or finance, you have to kind of do like a lot of diagrams. And so it was so funny because um, I was thinking about, oh, the deviation from VWAP, I can just make a diagram out of that. And then when I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I could do this. This is almost like a little like probability thing that I used to do in uh, quant a long time ago at university. So it's so funny how you can just kind of apply that stuff. I mean, obviously that's, you know, you don't need a, a, a 30,000... $40,000 a year education for, <laughs> for to, to learn how to draw diagrams, but I'm saying I did get something out of it. So um, again, the deviation from VWAP, um, this is something that I've talked about in a prior video. I'm not really going to go into it, but um, you see shorts vary stock, you see longs vary stock, and I just wanted to mention that when the word vary is involved, that is where we get the most, most emotional decisions, right? You know, we creep over VWAP a little bit, we may have some short stock, we may, we may not, we may not have them willing to cover, but by the time we're into shorts very stock, we're going to get those emotional covers, we're going to have everyone exiting, we're going to be, and so you almost want to um, go long in this short stock scenario, and then sell into the shorts very stock, and you almost want to go short into this long stock, and then cover into the, again, this is, I'm not saying I'm not saying this is going to work every time, but you have you have this kind of like inkling of like, okay, we're we're now overview up, we're now kind of past that barrier. I can you know uh, maybe start into a long position, and I'm going to sell when they're very stuck because when there's no shorts left, our natural sellers are completely gone, right? And um, or sorry, our natural bidders are completely gone, and when longs are very stuck, um, you know, and and they all sell out, you know, our natural sellers are gone. So. Above here, this is going to be where our natural bidders are. This is where our natural sellers are. And so you almost want to take a little bit of a long, 
right here. We're overview app now. We have those natural bidders bidding us up. After they're out, after they've all covered out at the highs, then we can start to go down and start to form that backside move, right? And so again, when longs are stuck, this is when they're starting to panic. They're really panicking. They're at max pain. Oh, we have none left. Now all we have left is shorts. Now maybe we're going to bid back up to VWAP. So it's just simple stuff like that, that you can really kind of use a chart like this to really kind of inform you on uh, who is stuck, uh, why they're stuck. Again, if the top is, is, is really, really set, you don't want to go long down here. It's better to go long when you know that shorts are stuck. Start playing against them a little bit. Once they all cover out, you know, you can sell into their covers, right? And then once you sell into their covers and there's no shorts left, then we get that, that backside return, right? Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.